New at six, more people are now dying of heroin than from car crashes in Milwaukee County. The medical examiner's office just released these numbers. 119 people died from heroin in 2014. That is compared to 74 motor vehicle deaths. 69 people died from heroin in 2013. And new at six, WISN 12 News Nick Bohr investigates what's behind the dramatic jump. Heroin last year took 119 lives in Milwaukee County, a stunning 72% yearly increase that's been called a crisis. Really wasn't prepared for it to be this high uh, of, a, of a statistic. Sarah Schreiber is the chief toxicologist at the Milwaukee Medical Examiner's Office. She offers this connection that perhaps more people are turning to heroin because prescription drug formulas have changed. Making it more difficult for them to abuse that. Have they turned to something else? There's a good chance of that. Um, heroin has also dropped in cost, so it's really easy to, to obtain. It's, you know, it's readily available, it's cheap, folks can get it. There's no telling how many more deaths there might have been without the growing availability of Narcan, a drug that paramedics and now EMTs are using to counteract the effects of heroin overdoses. It's a great intervention. It works super fast. It goes from taking these patients who are on the uh, verge of life and death to you know, sitting up and talking to you within, within a minute. Paramedic Jason Flegner with Bell Ambulance says thanks to new state law, their EMTs can now take life-saving measures before they wind up as another statistic here in the morgue. So I don't know if we're just seeing newer naive um, consumers, you know, newer users to the drug and their bodies don't have the tolerance to do it. Are we seeing folks that have relapsed after a period of time of being clean and sober? Questions still baffling for those on the front lines of the heroin crisis. In Milwaukee, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News. To try to curb drug use in Wisconsin, the Attorney General is planning to hold two drug take-back days in May and another one in September. That's where you can turn in your leftover prescription drugs. No dates have been set yet.